thing happening seem real while awake so do those in a dream while dreaming in dream the mind takes on another body in both waking and dream states thoughts names and forms occur simultaneously question is it any use reading books for those who long for release maharishi all the texts say that in order to gain release one should render the mind quiescent therefore their conclusive teaching is that the mind should be rendered quiescent once this has been understood there is no need for endless reading in order to quieten the mind one has only to inquire within oneself what one's self is how could this search be done in books one should know one's self with one's own eye of wisdom the self is within the five sheaths but books are outside them since the self has to be inquired into by discarding the five sheaths it is futile to search for it in books there will come a time when one will have to forget all that one has learned questioner what is happiness maharshi happiness is the very nature of the self happiness and the self are not different there is no happiness in any object of world we imagine through our ignorance that we derive happiness from objects when the mind goes out it experiences misery in truth when its desires are fulfilled it returns to its own place and enjoys the happiness that is the self similarly in the states of sleep samadhi and fainting and when the object desired is obtained or the object disliked is removed the mind becomes inward turned and enjoys pure self happiness thus the mind moves without rest alternately going out of the self and returning to it under the tree the shade is pleasant out in the open the heart is scorching a person who has been going about in the sun feels cool when he reaches the shade someone who keeps on going from the shade into the sun and then back into the shade is a fool a wise man stays permanently in the shade similarly the mind of the one who knows the truth does not leave brahman the mind of the ignorant on the contrary revolves in the world feeling miserable and for a little time returns to the brahman to experience happiness in fact what is called the world is only thought when the world disappears that is when there is no thought the mind experiences happiness and when the world appears it goes through misery questioner what is wisdom insight that is gyan drishti maharshi remaining quiet is what is called wisdom insight or gyan drushti to remain quiet is to resolve the mind in the self telepathy knowing past present and future happenings and clairvoyance do not constitute wisdom insight questioner what is the relation between desirelessness and wisdom maharshi desirelessness is wisdom the two are not different they are the same desirelessness is refraining from turning the mind toward any object wisdom means the appearance of no object in other words not seeking what is other than the self is detachment or desirelessness not leaving the self is wisdom questioner What is the difference between inquiry and meditation Maharshi Inquiry consists in retaining the mind in the self meditation consists in thinking that one's self is brahman existence consciousness bliss Questioner What is release Maharshi Inquiring into the nature of one's self that is in bondage and realizing one's true nature is release
तत्सत्मणापणमस्तु